Hey guys, it's Ryan with Mom on Mission, and today you get to do our favorite subject with us. So if you're new here, I am Ryan. I'm a Christ-following wife and a book-loving homeschool mom to three boys. So subscribe and stick around if you want to see all things biblical womanhood, homeschool, and book-related. So today I'm joining in a collaboration. This is an open collaboration hosted by Abby over at Rooted in Rest and Jessica at the Waldock Way. And this is um, an ongoing collaboration that is the homeschool show and tell. Um, and this is just to show that no two homeschools look alike and that there are so many different ways you can do so many different things in homeschool. Um, and this will just be a great place for ideas and inspiration. And if you're like me, just to geek out and see how other people homeschool. So this month, um, we are all about doing our favorite subject with us. For us, that was a little bit hard because my two kids have very different opinions on what the best subject is. Um, and of course my toddler, is in a category all his own. But um, my oldest actually picked to do a sunlight lesson. Now, we did not film that um, because it's just a bunch of reading and discussion. Now, if you guys want to see how we do a sunlight lesson, I would be more than happy to film that. I just didn't think that that would be very entertaining. But if someone wants to see it, let me know down below and I will for sure put a video up of that. Um, but we went with my middle son's suggestion, which was a math lesson. Now I only filmed him doing it because my older son, it is not his favorite subject. Um, so he didn't want to do it and that's fine. Um, but this is my second grader doing math with me. We use Saxon. So this is Saxon book two. It is the red math book from Saxon. So here we go. Okay. So here's your pattern of arrows. What would come next in the pattern? Mm -hmm. Down, up, right, what? Down, up, right, what? Down, up, right, what? Good job. Okay, if you needed to give me 81 cents, how many dimes would that be and how many pennies would that be? Eight dimes and one penny. Good job. Okay, we're not gonna do a calendar, graph, or counting. I think you know all of those. Um. Okay, I think you're good on all of that. We're gonna start with your written assessment, and this is everything that you've learned up until now. So just start this. I think it's only one side. Yep. So let me know when you're done with that, okay? Okay. I would like to add that this was an assessment week. These typically only come about every five lessons or so, so a typical day doesn't have this much paperwork to it. Green, red, blue, 50, 90, 80, 3, 6, and 8. Okay, this all looks good to me. The only thing I would change real quick is that um, this is asking how many dimes, and then it's asking how much money. So how many dimes was that? You had four dimes and you had two dimes. That is how many dimes? Six. Yeah, so you were just jumping ahead of yourself. Okay, so we got 100% on that. Okay, we will do these at the end. Okay, let's get on to your actual lesson. Subtracting half of a double. Okay, I want you to take four tiles. Okay, how would you put these, put all four of them in there to make it even, to where it would be balanced? Right, so how many did you put in each one? Two. Okay, so if you divide four into two separate things, it equals 
two, right? There you two. go. Okay, so if I have eight of something and I want to put it in two equal groups, how many are in each group? Four. Four. Because four plus four is eight, right? <laughs> Six and six is 12. What kind of facts are those? Double. The doubles facts, right? So if I had 100 color tiles, how many would I have to put in each bucket? 50. 50. What if I had 40 color tiles? 20. I put 20 in each side, right? Okay. What if I had 24 color tiles? 12. 12 on each side, good job. If I have seven color tiles, can I make that even? Can I make it balance out? No. Why? Because three and four aren't equal. Right, I would put one, two, three, four, five, six, then I would have one left over. If I put it in that side, that side goes down. If I put it in this side, this side goes down, right? Mm -hmm. And is seven an even or an odd number? Odd. Odd. So odd numbers, you can't divide them equally. There's always going to be one left over, right? Okay. Let's pretend that I have six pennies and I want to share them with you evenly. How many would each of us get? Three. Three pennies. Okay. So we're talking about giving away half of something. So what we're really doing is subtracting. So look here. I had six pennies and I gave you three and I had how many left? Mm -hmm. Three. Three. So six minus three is three. Okay, so let's see if you can figure this out. What is half of two? One. What is half of 18? Mm -hmm. Six. Eighteen? Oh, nine. Nine. What is half of ten? Five. Half of... Okay, so what we're doing is we're doing the doubles facts that you already know, but we're subtracting instead of adding. Instead of saying three plus three equals six, we're saying six minus three equals... Mm, three. Three, right? So these are called subtracting half of a doubles <laughs> facts. And that is what your time test is gonna be on. Do you think you need to practice first or do you think you got it? Practice. You wanna practice first, okay. and set your name on it and get ready. Minus 1 is 1, 6 minus 3 is 3, 18 minus 9 is 9, 12 minus 6 is 6.
is that? Something from 25. Oh, yeah. Okay. So then all you have to do now is your written practice. As long as you get them all right, we won't have to do any on the back. Okay? Ask me mm -hmm. if you have any questions. enjoyed watching that um, math lesson with us. Saxon is really not too complicated. I know a lot of people are intimidated by it. They say it's too much, which if you did it exactly to the book, it is a lot. But as you can see, there's a lot that we skipped over because I felt like he already had a grasp on it. Um, there's some things that I just don't do all the examples because if he's got it, he's got it and I'm not going to sit there and kick a dead horse. We don't do the front, the back of the worksheet unless he's having problems in an area. Um, and so there's lots of ways to adapt. You just think, oh my goodness, I like this, but it's too hard. It's not that hard to just tweak it a little bit. So um, make sure you check out the playlist down below. There's a bunch of other mamas participating in this collaboration. Check out Abby's channel, check out Jessica's channel. And like I said, subscribe if you haven't already. And I have some more videos coming up um, this week all about mother culture and um, Thanksgiving homeschool ideas. So if you're interested in that, stick around and I will talk to you next time.